Hello and welcome. My name is Zuzana, and I am a Salesforce MVP and the author of Amscript.io, an online app script editor with syntax validation. In this short video, I'm going to show you the two new Amscript utilities functions that came out in the Spring 22 release and allow users to generate JSON Web Tokens. JSON Web Token, or in short, JOT, is an open industry standard that defines a compact and self-contained way for securely transmitting information between parties as a JSON object. The information can be verified and trusted because it's digitally signed. In Marketing Cloud, JSON Web Tokens can be used to validate the identity of API calls to external platforms, as they allow applications to authenticate which marketing cloud account end user is calling the API, and they can be used to securely exchange sensitive data between marketing cloud and external platforms. The two new AmpScript functions that allow users to generate JSON Web Tokens are Get JSON Web Token and get JSON Web Token by keyname. Both functions are available for messages and landing pages. Let's now take a look at the syntax of the two functions. Both the get JSON Web Token and the get JSON Web Token by keyname functions have three attributes. The first attribute is a string, which defines the key used to create a hash of the JSON Web Token payload. The second attribute is a string, which defines which JOT standard hash algorithm is used. And the third attribute is the payload we want to pass. Typically, a JSON object with name value pairs. The only difference between both functions is in the first parameter. The getJSONWebToken function uses a key string that the user supplies directly. For example, it can be looked up from a data extension. The getJSONWebToken by keyName function is much more secure as it allows users to provide a name of a symmetric key stored in the Marketing Cloud public key management system. The output of the get JSON Web Token functions is an encoded JSON Web Token string, which consists of three parts a header, a payload, and a signature. Thank you for watching. Please comment in case you have any questions about this video or anything else related to AmpScript. And remember to subscribe to get notified about new videos on the Amscript.io YouTube channel.